Hi. I wanted to talk about a way to look at what's going on in the world. Because there's certain ways you can look at it that even though at times it really feels annoying, it's actually really exciting also. If I look at the world from a much farther perspective, some stuff is going on. A lot. People are standing up for their truth. People are calling out a lot of things. There are people that are that are just uncovering truth all over the place. And it might be hard to see sometimes, but I feel like it's moving towards something really big. Because I believe that at the core, the way most of us never access it, never know what we are, at all of our being, we are just love, we're just connected, we're these amazing people. And stuff happens to us. Big stuff happens to us. Not only just personal things, but the way the world presents itself to you. Like this massive turn you into a consumer mindset. Make you constantly bombarded with 60,000 messages a day that tell you you're not enough just this crazy chaos that we were born into where we're you know hurt and yelled at by our parents and and you know they do the very best they can but think of what they went through with their parents and you keep going back and they all come from a time where they went through so many things but we're not able to share them we're not able to connect with each other we're not able to talk about it and um when you have a lot of things happen to you, traumas, when you have a lot of things that you feel guilty that you did, whatever, in this world, it can be often very easy to start the process of stacking it and filing it and learning to live in a way without fully embodying or embracing or being there for that thing. And so eventually it's like, boom, trauma happens to us. Boom, we pack it down. And then another, another bad thing happens. Boom, we pack it down. Someone judges you. You pack it down. Someone, you do something you feel guilty about. You pack it down. And then you feel so exhausted, but there are so many little addictions available to distract us from the fact that we just feel like shit. So we just don't feel enough because we've got all this crap from our past, all of us, packed away. Now, if we lived in a world where we didn't have TV bombardment, the, the, the world teaching us what we are, you know, massive consumerism, 60,000 messages a day, Facebook, and we just lived and looked at the stars all day or all night and, you know, just sat in nature, we would be able to be with that pain, acknowledge it, feel it, and it would leave when it wants to. But we wouldn't be addicting ourselves as a way to block us from feeling it. <coughs> but there's so many things always available to distract us and keep us numb, living in our heads, just terrible food, you know, constantly, constantly going on, watching movie after movie, being on Netflix, hitting on people, Tinder, video games, just this bombardment of distraction because it is so painful to just be alone for a while. Isn't that weird? It is so painful to just be 
in nature. It's so painful to just sit on a couch. Like people don't know when I talk about just like being with yourself and sitting for an hour on the couch, people are like horrified of that. And we don't look at the fact that it should be horrifying to go on social media the amount that we do every day. That should be something we look at, but we don't. We don't want to face it. We don't understand that on the other side of facing it is a liberation, is a freedom. So it's almost like the same as eating a bunch and then like getting it stored in your body but not going to the bathroom and then you eat another thing and it's like this is I don't want to bring this up and eventually your body would throw it up if you didn't have constant distractions that could numb you from actually feeling these things so we as humans are walking around carrying our past and as a collective all of our past is now too loud and too heavy because there's only so long you can go addiction, 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 distraction, addiction. You can't do that for you finally start to go, this is insanity. And as a collective, I'm not talking about the individual movements because they are so incredible to me. I'm talking about all of us have been facing these things from our past are kind of showing up and our mind is having a hard time manipulating its way around it right we it, it can't do anything about it. it's in our face the me too movement put our pasts in our face and we couldn't just be in denial it put our past in our face as who we are as both people who have been assaulted, people have been abused, and it put things in our face as people who have done things that we didn't want to do. And when that happens, and it's in our face, and we finally can't numb ourselves from it, because the space we usually numb ourselves is social media. But social media is where like literally the place we go to run from our problems is the place that's bringing our problems up. Facebook and Instagram and Twitter are people saying me too. So the place you go to run, your addiction is now the place that's bringing it up. And this truth movement happened and people all over stood up and said, me too, I went through this, no more. Now when this comes up, and you finally can't manipulate your way out of it, and you can't addictify your way out of it, next steps forward happen, and many of those next steps aren't pleasant. So one step is denial. One step is, is just constant denial, repression, addiction, right? Like this, but then a next forward step, which might feel more painful, is anger. But it's a step forward because this thing that we've been pushing down is now right here. And finally, it's like, yeah, this fucking shit happened to me. And you're mad. And, and this step is required. We can't go. And this is a mistake I was making earlier in the week. I go, well, we got to forgive. First of all, we can't, you can't forgive. It will be forgiven as you feel it. In other words, you can't egoically decide to forgive something. True forgiveness happens when you bring something up and it's sitting there and it goes away when it decides. And for some people, that could take a long time because it might stay there to bring up other stuff. It goes also this, also this, also this. If it just left, you wouldn't bring those things up. But now it's here, right? So this crazy sweeping movement happened this week with the Me Too thing. And also, weirdly, you notice that it's calling out. I know that another director got called out for sexual harassment. And all these other people just are getting outed. There's agents getting fired. There's a producer at Nickelodeon that got fired. People are getting called out. Bill O'Reilly had a deal with Fox News and Fox, or like he settled a harassment suit a year ago. Fox News still renewed his contract. Now Fox News is involved. 
all of the celebrities that didn't say anything about Harvey Weinstein are like looking at their shit. Like, why did I back this guy? It's just all up in the air and it's coming up faster and faster and faster. And it's not only just affecting those people, it's affecting all of us because we've all been violated in some way or another. So there's people that go, fuck, it's in my face right now. I go on Facebook and all my friends are talking about it. Boom, it's in my face, it's in my face. Yeah, this happened to me. It's bullshit. I'm mad. And then I know a lot of people that were triggered in ever everywhere like there were a lot of men i know and i went through this at the beginning of the week that were like you know scared like how do i handle this what do i how do i react and i had to take a lot of time uncomfortably figuring out what i feel about this because i was like how how did i play in this and how have i contributed and how can i be better and bringing up my me too's and d- different times that i was actually uh, also uh, touched inappropriately and went through stuff. All, all of it was coming up, right? And it's just here, and I'm just sitting here with this crap. And I usually could just go, well, just forgive, just let go of it, just meditate. And I did meditate, and it just stayed there. Finally, Friday, I had a, a voice and a, a feeling and a, res, a resolution and a, and a way that I want to be better as a man, but it took me surrendering, me dealing with, it sucks. And all week, it just sucked. And then I talked to so many people I know, and it sucked. But something changed, or will change. The start of something. Some voices showed up, right? So some people were in a place of anger, and like, in that place, maybe, we're all in pain, so it com- and, and you can't numb it with Facebook. <laughs> so people are starting to come together and be there for each other. And for the first time, really, in a new level at least, truth is being supported. <sighs> truth is being supported. It's okay to say what you've been through. It's okay to say... You've made a mistake and you're sorry. It's suddenly okay to look at yourself and go, I want to be better. Everything. This all started coming up on a very large scale for us this last week. Some people might have gone out of anger and into crying. Crying is a true acceptance where some stuff starts to leave through your tears. This is how I experience it at least. But imagine if the world was one organism and it's just taking care of itself and releasing the past. It says we are now in a time where holding on to massive past is much harder. You're not going to be able to do it. I want to purge myself of this horrifying, crazy karma of my past. So it's letting it out, letting it out, letting it out. And in that uncomfortable place, you can't make a decision. Because usually what that is, is it's in your face and your mind is trying to outwit it. So it's kind of great because you're trying to struggle, but it's not working. You're trying to save the whole thing. It's not working. That swept the nation last week. Unreal. Now, there's no question. There's about to be a hell of a lot more of this on a much faster scale. But some people feel seen a little bit more. Some people feel apologetic a little bit more and want to change for real. Some people feel um, released a little bit more. Some people feel sad but surrendered a little bit more. Some people feel excited that more truth might want to show up. 
And right now we're in the middle of it. It's like you had your first puke and you can tell there's a hundred more coming. But this wants to move in a way that our minds can't understand because our minds that understand it are part of what is going to be puked because that understanding that we have is based on how the past worked and that's not going to happen. And time is about to move a lot faster than it used to because we're not moving as linearly. We're like, we're going linearly, going linearly, going linearly. Then we throw up a story. And I feel like last week we're like, dun, 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 and then we're just like, da, 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 like this. And it's going up a little bit more and not just this way. And this, for about 20 million people, just went to this. And if there's a new bar of people that have experienced being safe in their truth, there's going to be a hell of a lot more releasing. And then there's going to be some confessions. And there's going to be people that want to make the world better after they feel forgiven or after they feel forgiving or after they feel safer because... Different people are going to step up. This to me feels like what the planet is trying to do right now. This is how I see it. And I know we're in the middle of it because I feel a combination of released and some st new stuff coming up. And in a way, even though there's so many horrible things going on, it kind of is an exciting time too because we get to sit back and witness the universe purge itself. And maybe there's a paradigm where feminine energy is respected and loved. Maybe there's a paradigm where where true transformation happens. Maybe there's a paradigm where men are collectively safe. I mean, God, if we can make smoking a, a, a fad, wait till we do something that's a truth. It'll be forever. When being a good, safe man is popular, that will stay the truth forever. And more and more people want to do it, want to be there. But for the, them to be safe, they got to also purge their crap. And maybe we will realize under all of this, we're love. And maybe we're just purging to get to that place. And never has this happened before. But it feels like truth has to happen. It has to happen now. Because we're just in denial when we keep going here, going here, going here. And now what if the places we keep running to are shoving our truth in our face too? Holy shit. If that much truth is around you, there's only so much you can distract yourself. It's everywhere. Your truth, your past, release it. Bring it up. Call out the shit. Say your feeling, because that's part of the process. And I had forgot this at first, but you cannot forgive before you feel it. That is an addiction to stop you from feeling it. So I got to respect the universe, man. I got to respect the world. And I'm just honored to sit back and participate and feel it and co-create with you and release it and meet you 